In this lesson, we'll briefly discuss the concept of a function. At the end of this lesson, you should be able to understand the definition of a relation. Then, very, very important, a definition of a function. Identify the domain and range. Be able to identify functions in ordered pairs and from graphs. Use vertical line test and horizontal line test in graphs to prove that it's a function and what type of a function. Be able to see functions in real life situations. Firstly, we can start by defining a relation. A relation can be a connection between two or more things. Like for example, a teacher and a learner. The teacher will teach and the learner learns. So in math, we define relation as any set of ordered pairs. For example, the relation between x and y. In A, minus 2 relates to x. If x is minus 2, y is 1. If x is 4, y is 6. If x is 5, y is 7. B, if x is minus 2, y is 16. If x is 0, y is 4. The same applies to C. Right. So relation is divided into 2. A function and not a function. Now, very, very important. What is a function? A function is a rule by means of which each element of the domain is associated with only one element of range. So we talk about the relationship between domain and range. So what is domain? The set of x values. So when we talk about domain, we talk about the set of x values. For example, in A, so our domain is minus 2, 4, 5, 3. Right. Range, the set of y values of a function. In A, our range is 1, 6, 7, 9. In B, 16, 4, 4, 7. So this is the range, our, the set of y values. A function is a relationship that satisfies the following. So in order for a function to be a function, this each x value is allowed only one y value. Meaning that if we have one x, it must give us only one y value. A function can be one to one or many to one. So therefore, we have two types of a function, which is one-to-one -one function or many-to-one function. Right. So we look at what is not a function. Because a relation is divided into a function and not a function. A relation is not a function if one element of the domain is associated with more than one element of the domain. Therefore, one x value or x value must give us only one y value. So, a not, not a function is one to me. Example of not a function is called a one to main. One x value gives us many y values. To test whether a relation is a function or not, or the type of a function. Right, we have two types of functions, which is one-to-one -one function, many-to-one functions. Right, so let's start by looking at A. Minus 2, 1, 4, 6, 5, 7, 3, 9. So we can write our x values separately and relate them to y separately. So this one is called mapping table. So we can write them like this. So we write, we have minus 2, 4, 5, 3 as our x values, which is our domain. 1, 6, 7, 9, which is our range. Right. So we use arrows to relate. If we have minus 2 for domain, we have 1 for range. Minus 2 for x, 1 for y. Minus, I mean, 4 for, it's 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4, 4 for x, uh, 6 for y. Right, so this is one is called maybe. So if you check 
the relationship between our domain and range is one to one one x value gives us one y value so this one is, is a function because we have only one x value one x value gives us only one y value so this type of relation is called a one-to-one -one function right then we go to number b at number b we do the same thing with mapping table minus 2 16 0 goes to 4 and then 1 also goes to 4 3 goes to 7 so we have uh, many x values 0 and 1 all going to 4 but if you check your 0 goes to 4 and then your 1 goes to x so this type of a relation is a function is called many to one function here each element of the domain is associated with only one element of the range however the x values 0 and 1 are associated with the same element of the range so it, in this case the relation is said to be is said to be a many to one function each x value still associated with only one y value please don't confuse this one this is a function which is called a many to one many x values one y value we must always have one y value therefore we can have only many x values but only one y value many to one so the types of functions are one to one many to one one to one one x value gives us one uh, y value many to one many x values gives us many x values at a relation which is not a function right in this situation this is where when we draw mapping table we see one x value giving us more or many y values so this one is called one to many if you look at four four goes to two y values four give us one and six so this one is not a function because it's one it's one to many we have one x value giving us many y values here the x value 4 in the domain is associated with more than one element of the range in this case the relation is one to main and not a function look at graphs how to check whether a graph is a function or not to test whether a graph is a function we use a vertical line test after proving using vertical line test proving that or showing that is a function we go to the next step which, which is the horizontal line test which helps us to identify the type of a function many to one or one to one we can use a ruler to perform a vertical line test on the graph to see whether it is a function or not right you hold a ruler vertical or parallel to the parallel to the y axis move it left to right over the axis if the ruler only only ever cuts the curve in one place as the ruler moves from left to right across the graph then the graph is a function if the ruler at any stage cuts the graph in more than one place then the graph is not a function this is because the same x value will be associated with more than one y value if a horizontal line don't forget we start with vertical line test if the graph passes vertical line test then we go to horizontal line test a horizontal line test is drawn and moved along the graph and touches the graph more than once at any point it is a many to one right if, if it touches it once then it's a one to one 
Right, very, very important. The horizontal line test does not determine whether a graph is a function. Only the type of a function, the vertical line test must always be used first. We start with vertical line test. If the graph passes vertical line test, meaning if the graph touches, if the vertical line touches the graph once, therefore it's a function. Then if it's a function, we go to horizontal line test to check the type of a function. We start with vertical line test. If the graph is not a function, then we don't have to check the type of a function because it's not a function. Vertical line test, then horizontal line test. Let's look at this example. Determine whether the following relations are functions or not. Firstly, we check whether it's a function. Therefore, we are going to use vertical line test. If the graph is a function, determine whether the function is a one-to-one -one or a many-to-one. -one. So firstly, we are going to check whether the relation is a function, meaning we are going to use vertical line test. Then, if it's a function, we check the type of a function, meaning we are going to use horizontal line test. Now, let's answer our question using vertical line test, determining whether the relation are functions or not. So, let's look at A. If we move our ruler vertically like this, so the red line will represent the ruler. So, we want to check how many times it cuts the graph. So, if we move it here, you check it cuts it once. And when we move it, it cuts it once, 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 once. Therefore, this is a function because the vertical line cuts the graph once. Therefore, it's a function. Let's go to B. B. Let's move our vertical line. It cuts the graph once, once. Therefore, this is also a function. It cut once here, 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 here. Therefore, it's a function. 1x value, 1y value. Therefore, it's a function. Let's look at C. Carefully look at C. So here is our vertical line. We are going to move it and check how many times it cuts the graph. Vertical line, one, it cut it. How many times? It cuts it two times. So it cuts here. If you check here, one x value gives us many y values. 1x value here, many x, many y value here and here. Therefore, this is not a function. It's a, it's a, let's check it again. It cuts it many times. Therefore, this is a, this is not a function. 1x value gives us many y values. Therefore, not a function. Right, let's look at D. Let's move our vertical line and see. So it cuts it once. Therefore, this is a function. Right, let's carefully look at E. This is the graph. It's a straight line. This is the line uh, X line X equals to 3. For every y value, x equals to 3. So let's move our vertical line test. Let's check our vertical line. So the vertical line cuts the graph many times. So the line x equals to something. x equals line x equals to 0, x equals to uh, 5, x equals to whatever will always not be a function because this is a vertical line. And the vertical line test will cast the graph many times. Therefore, it's not a function. Not a function. After showing that it's a function using vertical line test, we determine whether the function is a one-to-one -one or many-to-one, -one, the type of a function. So since A, B, and D are functions. We determine 
whether they are the function is one to one or many to one using horizontal line test vertical line first if it's a function then horizontal line test to check the type of a function many to one one to one many to one or one to one let's look at a right so we are going to move our horizontal line up and down so let's move it so if you check the horizontal line cuts the graph once so therefore this is a one-to-one -one function then we go to b we move horizontal line up the horizontal line cuts the graph twice here and here therefore this is a many to one then we go to d we check the type of a function we move our horizontal line the horizontal line cuts the graph two times therefore it's a many to one therefore you can conclude that a straight line function is a one to one and a parabola is a many to one right let's look at a function machine so this is an example of a function machine where there's input and output. Input is the domain, what we put inside, and output is our range, what we get. You put money, you get something out. Think of a, an ATM machine. You punch 100 rand, at the keyboard and you get 100 rand so this is an example of a function machine input is the keyboard and the money that you get is the output let's also look at another example maybe the joke box where you want to play music say you want to play uh, your music maybe you want to play hakamatrogis or piano whatever music you want to play maybe hakamatrogis is number two you press number two then hakamatrogis plays so that's example of a function the number that you punch is the input and the music that plays is the output also we can look at the vending machine the vending machine you have packet of chips there are numbers Say the first one is one for Zimba, smoke beef or whatever. You punch one, then you get the packet of chips. So that's the example of a function machine. The number that you punch is the input and the chips is the output. You only get one packet, which is one to one function. Visit this topic of function in your textbook, Platinum Grade 12, page 34, exercise 1, Classroom, Mathematics Grade 12, page 37, Everything Maths, Seavuda, page 89, exercise 2.2, .2, or Clever, or any other textbook. Do the first exercise about functions. Thank you very much. Enjoy.